Race number eight, class three again, back to the thousand metres here with two horses making their Hong Kong debuts, including I'm a single man, blinkers and a tongue tie for his debut, unbeaten in two starts, including a group two race in Western Australia. Mr Lumiere gets the cheek pieces on for the first time. Man Stars, the other debutant uh, here, won three of his five starts in Australia as well. Moment of power rolled forward from barrier number 12. Hart conquered uh, third on his last two starts. Really close go behind Explosive Witness last time out. We the South up in class for a last start course and distance win gets barrier number one and down to Telecom Puma who's um, a long way behind Lockheed last time out that was 1200 meters at uh, Shartin beaten over eight lengths and Telecom Puma is the one of these uh, Mark that um, has been up at Chung for the one I missed out there was Ruby Stars of course gets his uh, debut here as well at the expense of Fabulous A. Might have to do it tough but he will be up there with cover three wide Andrew good to fast tempo we the south harmony and rich and moment of power roaring along up front in front of I'm a single man diamond brilliant Mr Lumiere man star is one of the most intriguing first starters all day Ruby stars three wide heart conquered out there as well on the train but with cover exceed the stars Prince of Bonbon bon, and the Pumas last here is a man star now we saw this gallop earlier on in smiling successes race but concentrate on the blue saddle cloth there of man star he's 1130 eight pounds he's had three trials here in Hong Kong and he's won two of them and, and did uh, come with some good form from overseas Ruby Stars is another one of the first starters now he's a thousand and seventeen pounds little compact horse he's only had the two trials uh, to get him ready he's been quite keen in his work but I just thought I'd show it because uh, he does come into the field and then Diamond Brilliant uh, look he didn't trial very well I thought um, but prior to that I mean his work's been pretty good and Antoine Hamlin from Barrier 5. So he might have just had an off day on the trial because the work's OK there. OK, all right. We're going to start off with a really exciting race here in Happy Valley. Course and distance it was. Explosive Witness uh, was the winner. Um, Hart conquered just the best of the rest of them, though, Mark. But what a finish this was. It was indeed. Fabulous 8 runs to the top here past what was the favourite Harmony and Rich. Just wonder if he might have been a run short and we'll go on with it from that. Here's Hart conquered coming down the outside. Got him in again, Paul. He's drawn out wide in barrier 10, but if they do speed along up front, there should be lots of gaps in the field to get in. Yeah, I, I think this is the Quinell of these two horses. Harmony and... Uh, uh, sorry, Harmony and Rich, yes, and uh, Hart conquered. Um, Harmony and Rich will get first run on Hart conquered I think that could be just be the little difference okay all right so what about uh, the chance of we the south uh, Paul who broke through in what's well, it broke three one in class four company I should say last time out was his third uh, win gets the inside gate that's got to help him yeah definitely and he had to really work to get across he showed some really good gate speed so he is going to be right on the pace you'll get company though that's that's what I think it's going to be a little bit uh, harder for him because Harmony and Rich will come across and we know moment of power uh, although he hasn't been sort of showing the usual day we know he is normally a quick horse. Yeah, barrier one certainly helps we the south, but he's up in grade and he's going to get more pressure. He was cranky in the in the yard last time too before he went out. So if he fires up on the way out, don't be too concerned because he went out and won. Mm. All right, okay, that's we the south. Three first starters then in the field. So let's start off here with Man Star for Jimmy Ting. He'll be ridden by Chad Schofield. Chad Manstar steps out for the first time on the weekend, raced as Riverside's cash when he was in Australia. Can he get the cash first up here in Hong Kong? Hoping so. His trials have been good. I think he's won both of them. And um, he's a nice horse. He's very speedy. He's very professional. Um, he jumps, he runs, he'll make his own luck, and he, uh, he's definitely fit enough to go to the races. He's never been to Happy Valley before. Is that a concern for you? Not at all. He's a small horse with a lot of speed. Um, he's got no vices. I think he'll corner around the track really, really well. And a bit of a different uh, Sunday for you. Will it be a bit weird getting in the car to go to the races as opposed to walking down from your apartment to the jockey's room here at Sha Tin? Yeah, something a bit different, but it is nice. You know, I, I always enjoy these Happy Valley, meet, Happy Valley Day meetings. They don't come around all that, all that often, but um, hopefully there's a couple of winners amongst them. Maybe this could be one of them then, uh, Mark Manstar, formerly with uh, Bjorn Baker. He won three of his five starts in Australia. Including at Gosford, Andrew, and it's quite a small, tight-turning circuit, so that heading to Happy Valley, Paul, should augur well for Manstar to make a promising debut. Yeah, it was called Riverside's Cash when he did run uh, down there for you uh, guys that follow Australian racing. So he did have those wins. He, he did look quite promising, and his trials have been good here. So I think he's a chance. All right, OK. That was winning methods um, that was uh, he was trialling with there. So I think that's probably quite a good line. Um, Diamond Brilliance and I'm a single man, Mark. So I'm a single man. Um, two starts for two wins in WA. He won the Karakata Plate at Group 2. He comes up here. He's had the three trials, a fourth to Mike Sedek, a second behind Circuit 7. He's been niggled at a couple of times. This is the trial you mentioned, Paul, where Diamond 
brilliant, has been hard ridden. Going to forgive him for this. Mike Static just runs straight past the other two and Soaring Tower runs on. Uh, he has placed up first up before Diamond Brilliant, so that's in his favour. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I must admit, the troll did put me off. I just expected a bit better from him. And look, his work since has been OK. So if you want to forgive that troll, that's fine. All right, Ruby Stars. Kevin Ryan trained uh, him in the UK. Romantic Vision is named there for two wins at Catrick. Again, trolling here at the Valley. Yeah, 1,017 pounds for him. He's had these, these two trials. This is one of them. I thought the trials have just been OK, so um, I haven't included him. Showed a little bit of early speed, and he's stuck on OK, but was happy to leave him out. One of those wins at Catterick was over the 1,000, so the trip's no problem. All right, so speedy uh, sort, but uh, Manstar, interestingly, Paul, is our favourite. Yeah, quite surprised about that. I have got him in, though. Uh, I think he, he can uh, run a pretty good race here first up, but he's only in for third. I've got Harmony and Rich and Hart conquered. They, uh, I think they're the, the Quinella in the race. Harmony and Rich has had that run under his belt now, so he'll strip fitter for that. Hart conquered in there. He'll run at them late. Man star and then we the cell from the front as well. Three, eight, four and ten. Eight, three, four and eleven. So same top three as Paul just swapped them around. I go with Hart conquered. Love the way he hit the line last time and he should be able to get across from barrier number ten. Tongue tie goes off. Alexi Bedell stays on and uh, the weight 121 up to 123. Three Harmony and Rich will be much better for that first up performance. He hadn't raced since March prior to that, so he should come right on with it. Manstars look good at the trials in Diamond Brilliant on that uh, first up placing in the past. 8-3, 4 and 11. Oh, Concord for me as well. Great finish uh, last time. I've included both first times. I think they've both shown enough. It's, uh, the trial suggests they might competitive on debut. Two more races to go then, one more Class 3 and a Class 2 to finish our Sunday programme at Happy Valley.